of Mexico. This looks delicious. Wow. If you're new here, we're Haley and Jake. After eight incredible months of driving across Mexico, we're finally arriving to the Gulf Coast. This part of Mexico is pretty off the beaten track, and we're excited to spend a week here exploring this beautiful coastline. We are getting closer to the Gulf and the air feels so tropical. We are very excited to get back to the beach. I think we're here. The last time we were at the beach was in Puerto Vallarta on the other side of the country. To say we're excited to be back to the coast is a bit of an understatement. Finley, you're in the Gulf of Mexico! How's the water? It's really, really warm. This beach is beautiful. It is smoking hot. The sand is burning our feet. So we put Finley's shoes on him. And uh, yeah, we need some shade. We're gonna go scope out some campsites around here. Find a spot to park tonight. Oh, that's a dead pelican. And come back to the beach later. We have permission to sleep in the parking lot of a restaurant by the beach here. So we're just gonna head to the restaurant now and go have some lunch. Hi buddy. We have shade, we have a nice breeze and beautiful view. This is really nice. That's probably to cut the spice. I think this is very nice. Yeah. What's the next one? I took too little to actually be able to taste it. It's a bit spicy. <laughs> wow. Looks delicious. Which is comida. <laughs> this is a white fish done Veracruz style uh, with rice and a salad. And these are empanadas. Two are cheese and two are fish. Let's dig in. I was on. Again. This one is full of melted cheese. The fish is delicious. It's got a mixture of tomato and peppers. It's got a little bit of a spice to it, but it's really tasty. Lunch was delicious. We're heading back to the van, go pack a beach bag, and then go lay on the beach. Hello! Hey, Scotch! We had a really fun day hanging on the beach. It's been a really long time since we've had a good beach day. Uh, Haley and I both had way too much sun and we had some pretty good seafood as well. Uh, tomorrow we are going to be heading to do an activity we are very excited about so we're going to have a quiet night and wake up early and get going.
Good morning. We are just getting ready to leave this uh, beach restaurant that we've been parked at for the last couple days. Jake and Finley are just at the beach playing ball. I'm just heading back to the van to get all packed up, ready to go. I know, how was the beach? It was good. We ran, we swam, we pooped. Finley decided he was gonna go see the Oakland. You went for a swim, bud? <laughs> Hi, Finley. Really loving being back to the beach. We wanted to stay in the area for a few more days. So we ended up grabbing a campsite. It's beautiful and we can walk right to the beach. Today we are really excited because we're gonna go sandboarding in the nearby dunes. It's something we've never done before and we've been wanting to for a long time. We have our soundboards. We're just making our way over to the sand dunes. We don't have a guide. We are just gonna go figure out by ourselves. Should we try on a small hill? Or should we do the biggest one off the bat? You pick. Uh, this view is so cool. Wow. Here we go. How was it? Well, I didn't fall. That was good. You have zero control though. You're just kind of sliding. Keep your weight on your back foot. Bend your knees. Woo! You're doing it. The scenery is also unreal. There's a car commercial at the bottom of the dunes being shot right now while we're sandboarding up here. Try right here. Oh, it's a steep. Yeah, this one works much better. This is something that Jake and I have wanted to try for quite a while and we're feeling very happy that we finally got to give it a shot. It is loads of fun and uh, surprisingly tiring. It's quite a bit different from snowboarding, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's a lot of fun. We rented our boards for an hour and a half, which was more than enough time. It is quite hot under the sun and we're feeling quite tired. So we're gonna make the walk back out of the sand dunes, return to boards, and go back to Finley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, are you okay? We made it. Oh. Hello. Making our way back to the van, and we'll grab Finley, jump in the ocean to get all the sand off.
Hi, look at me. Hi, bud. Hi, where are you sleeping? Where are you sleeping? It is noon in July on the Gulf Coast of Mexico. It's way too hot to go to the beach, so we're gonna hang out here for a bit. Haley's making some chips and guac for lunch, and then we'll check out the beach later. For guacamole, we cut up pepper, onion, tomato, garlic, um, mix it all together, and then we add in the avocado, and then some salt and some lime. And uh, when we were at the grocery store, the grocery store owner gave us a free avocado as a welcome gift to Veracruz, which was very kind. Hello, Finley. We're back at the beach. This time we brought our moonshade so that we would have a little bit more shade since there's no coverage here. Finley and Jake are just hopping in the ocean to cool off. And yeah, we're gonna spend the afternoon hanging out on the beach. Is that a horse? <laughs> and there's a dog. Hey, no, you're fine. Hola. <laughs> We've spent the rest of the afternoon just hanging out at the campsite. It's been really nice having a space outside to relax in the shade. This campsite also has lots of amenities like uh, power, bathroom, showers, that sort of thing. So it's been really nice. It's got a late checkout time. It's uh, 5 p.m. So we're slowly getting ready to pack up and mosey a little bit further south. We'll be heading to Veracruz City next. We'll probably drive halfway and stay at a gas station tonight and then visit there tomorrow. Good morning. We are in downtown Veracruz and we are going to spend the day exploring the historic center. We started off at the Grand Parroquia Cafe which is a coffee shop that's been here since 1808 and specializes in something called Lechero coffee. How is it? It is very sweet. We're currently at the harbor. Veracruz has a massive shipping port for international shipping. So you can see all of the big cargo ships here. So Veracruz is on the coast and it has been attacked multiple times by multiple groups of people. So most of the colonial era buildings have been destroyed. There are still a few left, but it makes a historic downtown area fairly small. The weather here is extremely hot. And if you like food, We got what our guidebook recommended. I believe it's called Conachita Pivo, which is slow cooked pork tacos. It's apparently this place's specialty. So let's check, give it a shot. The restaurant where we got the tacos from wouldn't let Finley sit inside. So we got them to go and we found a little patch of shade and this is where we're having our lunch. Oh my God. Are you okay? I've seen what that was and it was a really spicy pepper. I'll put one in. Okay. So, I don't know what to do. Maybe I dip. Is it bon provecho? Huh? She said bon provecho. Isn't that like good eating? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. I think that's the Spanish equivalent of Bon Appetit. <laughs> oh, 
not spicy. The meat tastes like a uh, the meat tastes like a sausage. That is really spicy. I have put two tiny onions on here, peppers on here. We're gonna end this video here. We hope you enjoyed exploring the Gulf Coast with us. Next up, we are heading down to Southern Veracruz, so we'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to join us on our journey through Mexico, and we'll see you next time.